game over. <laughs> Say game I over. Want an enemy. You've got those all over the place. Ain't the guy who just shot you in the head an enemy? Everyone you've ever had to shoot was one too. They're all fakes. They're all smiling. I want an enemy. One that if I can kill them, and put an end to all these stupid incidents. Well, there is one of those. In here. Aim a shot in there, and you could kill him. And then it's like, Dick was the one all along. He's the mastermind behind it all. Of course, it'd be a victory for you, but it'd be a loss, too. So you just gotta put up with all these small-minded guys instead. We're almost at the hospital. Hope it's not too crowded. It's not you. It's not you. It's not you. Who are you? Why are you smiling? But that's it. Sacrifice my arm for nothing. Getting it infected because I'm walking through the sewer. Can I go look at the thing now without... Corpse tied to the chair. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Excuse me? The ghost of David. You okay? Sorry, I just felt kinda... <sighs> I don't expect you to be unfazed by a sight like that. Sorry, I couldn't tell till I got close. Keith is hallucinating. I know I showed that, but oh, uh-oh. <laughs> I'm being followed by David's ghost. Oopsie, I think I broke it. Hey, I found David. <laughs> um. This isn't good. I'm gonna see how long this will last as I go through. Look at that, I magically healed and David's okay. And nothing bad happened at all. Definitely not. Though this is probably gonna ruin me because I might not be able to do anything with David following me. Yeah, don't uh, don't act like you didn't know. It's just the way it goes. Look at that, David, you're following me. Shut up, shut up, shut up. I want to slash and beat you, self. Control. Breakdown. Help me, someone. Not my fault. Is it really- is it really like the boogeyman is 
whispering sweet, sweet nothings into Brendan's ear, and this is the outcome. Or Brendan's just straight up, like, s s schizophrenic. Hear me, I'm fabricating... Who... Who I gonna kill? No one can hear me. Please forgive me. David's just gonna follow me until- Oh! Oh no! The ghost is flickering out of control! <laughs> this is a really long staircase. Oh, my arm's stop gone. It. Yeah, stop it, David. Leave me alone. Stop it! David. Excuse me. David's still there. <laughs> oh, no. Baron here. Yes, that's right. I'll be there. <laughs> Mr. Baring, sorry to have called you. I hope this isn't ruining it for you guys because I find this absolutely hilarious that David is still- I thought it was gonna, like, take him out at some point, but he is even in the cutscenes. Your wife said she couldn't look, but we need you to confirm. It's my son. Are you sure? He's wearing the clothes from this morning. My wife sewed his name on then. Todd Baring. Check behind the neck. The doctor is just Richard. You have my deepest condolences. Sign here. We'll send you a pamphlet for a mortician. Refer to it if you wish. Thank you. There's a nurse waiting outside. Tell them if you need any help. Now, please excuse me. Helen. It's me. Hey, Keith. You off loitering somewhere? You gotta hurry. The suspect's on the move. Head for Wellington Street. Got it? Don't go. Stay with me. That's so cold. Um, is it bad if I go through all of this with David still following me because I kind of want him to just keep following me <laughs> until I can't go into a place? I just want to see how far I can go. <laughs> and I know it kind of like it messed with the scene, but I I'll... I'll reload at some point so that we can see it without David ruining it. We just have the ghost of David following us. Oh, I'm getting stuck on the candles. I've been waiting, detective. Oh dear, what a frightening face. A glare like that. Heck, it even gets me shaking.
What got you so angry? Ah, David's death, perhaps? I don't know what you're talking about because he's right behind me. Well, there's no need to worry there, because I'm the one who killed him. It wasn't your fault. Yes, those are the magic words. Aren't they the ones you're always telling yourself every time you confront an innocent person's death? It's not my fault. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. <laughs> Well, fine by me, detective. You're always biting off more than you can chew, eh? But now you should be asking yourself. Is it because this guy's a murderer that I want to kill him so bad? Whoa there. I know you want to make this quick, but give me a sec. Indeed, once this game is over, you can leave safe and sound. With your wife, too. Yes, your wife is just fine. Well, maybe a little hurt, you know. If you catch me, this oh-so-fun game will finally end. But that's too boring, isn't it? Now, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> you can put up any opposition you like. Nobody to force yourself to protect here. So do as you please. Kill me. Find your wife and go back home. That's a happy ending for you, right? <laughs> David's still with me. Ow. Well, that's cheating. Boo, boo, boo. Boo, boo. Ah! What? I am pressing Z. After win with uh, David. Right. Oh, jeez. I didn't know that's what he was going to do. The heck? He won't attack. He attacked once and he's not attacking anymore, so I guess I have to reload without David next to me. Woken. I have bad news. Keith, where is he? Where is he? He's dead. You're lying. Why would I lie? I'm not. Why? I just came here to give, to, with the decency to tell you that he's dead while I go die to the boogeyman because for some reason I can't hit him with the axe. This is just like the crooked man all over again. He protected me. Except I cheated. Thank you, desk. That asshole. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. I tried to tell him that he should put his own safety first. I, don't, I still don't understand why he did that. Like, we had more fresh air than he did, and he lasted a pretty long-ass time. So rude. Shirley, don't hold back. You can cry if you need to. Would it bring him back if I did? No, but still, that doesn't mean you need to hold it in, whether you cry or not. 
if you don't cry now, you might never cry or laugh again. Like me. Stop it. Stop it! Excuse me. Bearing here. I'll be there. Mr. Baring, sorry to have called you. Your wife said she couldn't look, but we need you to confirm. It's my son. Are you sure? He's wearing the clothes from this morning. My wife sewed his name on then. Todd Baring. Check behind the neck. You have my deepest condolences. Sign here. We'll send you a pamphlet for a mortician. Refer to it if you wish. Thank you. There's a nurse waiting outside. Tell them if you need any help. Now, please excuse me. Helen. It's me. Hey, Keith, you off loitering somewhere? You gotta hurry. The suspect's on the move. Head for Wellington Street. Got it? Don't go. Stay with me. I've been waiting, Detective. Oh dear, what a frightening face. A glare like that. Heck, it even gets me shaking. What got you so angry? Ah, David's death, perhaps? Well, there's no need to worry there, because I'm the one who killed him. It wasn't your fault. Yes, those are the magic words. Aren't they the ones you're always telling yourself? 
every time you confront an innocent person's death. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. <laughs> Well, fine by me, detective. You're always biting off more than you can chew, eh? But now you should be asking yourself. Is it because this guy's a murderer that I want to kill him so bad? Whoa there, I know you want to make this quick, but give me a sec. Indeed, once this game is over, you can leave safe and sound. With your wife, too. Yes, your wife is just fine. Well, maybe a little hurt, you know. If you catch me, this oh-so-fun game will finally end. But that's too boring, isn't it? Now, I'm going to kill you. You can put up any opposition you like. Nobody to force yourself to protect here. So do as you please. Kill me. Find your wife and go back home. That's a happy ending for you, right? What the heck? Boogeyman has a weird attack pattern. What? Tricked me, loser. Ooh, trust you. Ah, I don't understand his attack pattern. Oh, what even? No. Oh my god. How am I supposed to attack when he's like that? It's like I have no opening. There, just spammed it, jeez. Precious box of yours. S it smells rotten. There's a corpse in the box. You're just pretending you don't notice it. Why didn't you unmask him? I hate this. You don't just kill someone and not unmask them. A key, judging from the shape, is probably for the Iron Gate. Wick's Iron Gate, Keith. There are multiple. Helena. Keith? Keith? Thank 
God. I'm so glad you're alive. Keith, you're hurt. Really hurt. Let me see. Are you okay? This is nothing, but you. It doesn't hurt at all. It's just... I was so scared. I thought you might vanish in front of me too. I'm sorry. Sorry, I couldn't protect you. Keith. Let's continue our conversation. I'm gonna go with D, the bad one. Give me a week. I'll pack my bags. No, I'll leave. You should stay there. You don't want to let go of the house, do you? All the memories there. A week from now, let's do dinner. I want to talk about some last things. A lot of them. Okay. I want that too. No more beer for you? Yeah. I get sleepy if I drink too much. I'll take you home tonight, so you don't have to worry about that. No, it's fine. I need to be capable of going home alone, even if I'm drunk. Hey, do you remember this? One time, after having a lot to drink, you came home with all this food. And when you got home, you started cooking all of a sudden. I just stared in disbelief while you cooked without a word. Then you said, Okay, eat up, good night, and fell asleep. Did that really happen? <laughs> of course! I couldn't eat it all so I gave it to you in the morning. And you said, oh, Wow, luxurious. Did you make that in advance? You didn't remember it at all. Gosh, I laughed so hard. <laughs> <laughs> if you think that's funny, I shouldn't tell you what I got up to as a drunk student. You laughed yourself to death. I haven't seen you laughing forever. Really? If you can smile like that, then I don't mean anything else. Not even me being with you? Sorry, I'll stop. Don't cry, Helena. I want our last meeting to be a fun one. Right. Oh! Poggers. Keith, it's your phone. Keith. Don't answer it. Unable to take your call at the moment, please leave your name, number, and a brief message, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Boogeyman. Keith, what the hell are you thinking? How can you resign and not tell me about it? Dang it, I thought it was gonna be the boogeyman. I want to talk, please. Call me back, ASAP. I'm waiting.
keys? A message from Mr. Anderson? So he called the home phone too. Dang it. I wanted to say before she even checked the phone. It... Ooh, it was all just a dream. Keith was never real. Oh, you surprised me. Where were you? Couldn't sleep, though I thought I'd have a drink. Sorry I woke you. Though there was a bottle of spirits in here. Where'd that go? Oh, it's in those drawers. Keys? Bruh. Bruh. I'm the boogeyman. Helena. You should stay in this house. Todd is here, and so am I. This house was like a box full of treasures to me. Treasures more valuable than life itself. I wanted to protect them at all costs. But I wasn't strong enough. I couldn't protect them. Not Todd, not you. And yet, even knowing my powerlessness, I couldn't let things go. If you're ever born again, I'll pray you never meet me.